Farewell to legendary actress, Sophia Loren passed away, leaving behind deep regrets. Hope keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Alana. Welcome back to my channel like this video and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video, so let's start the latest update. The renowned Italian actress Sophia Loren has graced the silver screen for decades, winning over audiences everywhere with her extraordinary talent and talentless beauty. Sophia Loren, who was born Sophia Shalone on September 20, 1934, in Rome, Italy, had a difficult upbringing as an illegitimate child in a culture where such circumstances were frequently viewed as scandalous and sinful. She was teased and humiliated from a young age. Her road to fame was fraught with difficulties, and the poverty specter hung over her formative years. Lauren's family struggled to make ends meet, frequently surviving on meager rations of bread, and hunger was a constant theme in her childhood. Her thin build earned her the cruel moniker Sophia Stikident, which translates to toothpick. Her family shared a cramped apartment with eight other relatives. Life was difficult and World War II made matters worse. Young Sophia would frequently hide from passing aircraft. In contrast to her mother's unmet goals, Lauren recalled the recurring theme of hunger in her childhood and said it would take an entire book to express the depths of their hardship. Hope Rilda, who is frequently compared to the well-known actress Bridget Bartle, got her start from Lauren Bay. Villani once said, All I dreamed of for myself has occurred to Sophia. I live in her image. She should direct her aspirations toward her daughter, cultivating her abilities and assisting her in her pursuits of a better life. This poignant statement captures the hopes and sacrifices of a mother who, in spite of all odds, was determined to see her kid grow into a seed. Sophia Loren's journey to becoming famous began when she was just 14 years old. Despite her family's financial struggles, which made purchasing fancy dress nearly impossible, Sophia entered a beauty contest. In a stroke of creativity, her grandmother made her gown from pink curtains, and Lauren Sunny's presence mesmerized the judges. When young actress, this moment's Marty crossed paths with director Carlo Pony, who was at least 19 years older and a married father at the time of their first encounter, they were immediately attracted to one another. Despite the difficulties they encountered, their love developed quickly. Carlo Ponti, sensing the vacuum created by Lauren's absentee father Ricardo Shalone, who had left the family, became not only her lover, but also a father figure and career manager after seeing Sophia Loren had a special gift and charisma that exceeded her age. Considering her father's relationship, Lauren Poli said, I've never had a relationship with my father. I wish he had been a different parent and friend to my mother, but he was who he was. Even though Sophia Loren and Carlo Ponte had a strong love for one another, their relationship faced many obstacles not the least of which was Lainey's rejection. Due to her friendship with a married man, Lauren's mother believed that her daughter was taking a similar route to her own, one that was marked by shame. Nonetheless, Lauren Ponty's love persisted, defying social norms and conventions. They began their family in 1968, when they welcomed their first son Carlo Jr. Five years later, they added another son, Eduardo Furin, the greatest joy in life was being a mother, according to Sherry, who once said, Nothing matters to me but my baby. If having a child means I'm not modern, then so be it. I think a baby needs to be with his mother. Sophia Loren and Carlo Ponti have dealt with ongoing rumors of adultery because the actress was frequently romantically linked to her male colleagues in the business. Despite this, Lauren and Pummy vehemently denied these allegations, reiterating their unwavering love and dedication to one another. Pony himself bemoaned the media's betrayal, saying in the press that he was always having an affair. Their love story was a testament to their enduring bond, which transcended the difficulties and rumors that constantly surrounded them. Lauren also expressed her frustration, saying, They always had us having affairs. We were many years in Rome apart, but we were in love, and that's what kept us together. 
Until Pont's death in 2007, their commitment to one another remained unwavering, leaving friends and family became more concerned as Lauren Brewster retreated from her social circles and struggled to maintain a healthy weight. Beyond the grace and charm, she battled silently with depression and anorexia, conditions that can go unrecognized until they become incapacitating. As her illness deteriorated, her once bright grin had vanished and been replaced by a menacing sorrow. Sophia sought medical assistance and received medication therapies. Even electroconvulsive treatment was used in her, in her never-ending search for an escape from the darkness that enveloped her. She started looking into alternative therapies and discovered onto psychosurgery. She thought that surgery would be the answer to her agony and returned to doctors to contemplate it in early August 2023. Sophia was hospitalized to a hospital in Los Angeles in the hopes that psychological treatment might ease her chronic pain. The procedure was scheduled for August 9, a day that would mark a pivotal moment in her mother's life. The choice to proceed with psychosurgery was not likely chosen lightly because it was a very contentious topic. Choice the medical practice known as psychosurgery includes modifying or removing brain tissue in order to treat serious mental diseases. When other therapies have failed in the past, it has been used to treat diseases like schizophrenia and severe depression. The lobotomy, one of the most popular types of psychosurgery, is notorious for its extreme and frequently harmful results. However, Sophia's surgery was not a lobotomy as was initially believed. The hospital made it clear that the goal of the procedure was to treat her despair rather than her anorexia. In the discussion around her case, this important distinction would become vital. As is frequently the case with medical operations of this sort, Sophia's psychosurgery's specifics are kept a secret. Psychosurgery can use a variety of techniques including single otomy, interior otomy, or deep brain stimulation. Following surgery, each pro targets various regions of the brain related to mental health issues. The initial signs seemed encouraging, giving those who had watched Sophia suffer for years hope. However, the optimism surrounding Sophia's recovery was fleeting. After a week of recovery, friends and family reported that she was in a more content state, and was on the phone happy and chatting in contrast to the withdrawn and tormented individual they had known for so long. Three weeks following the procedure, she developed pneumonia. A serious respiratory infection could weaken someone. Despite medical measures, her weight fell alarmingly to 35 kilograms, about 77 pounds, due to her condition and the pneumonia. Sophia's condition tragically worsened, and on September 11, 2023, she passed away from bronchial pneumonia. Thank you.